I didn't post it until um, about 15 minutes ago. Last month when I was at NAMM, um, I had the opportunity to meet people from different sample library companies and sample library distributors, and that was a pretty cool experience. I made new uh, new business friends. And uh, one of them was Best Service. They're a company in Europe who distributes um, really all sorts of libraries. Uh, I visited their website, and I really liked their layout. Uh, you can look for certain types of instruments, and goes and it... Uh, it orders them by by um, their rating, their price, and all that. It's it's really easy to navigate, but they make their own sample li libraries, and I basically got my pick of which ones to review. Um, I kind of wanted to get away from guitars a little bit. I've been uh, reviewing guitars and basses a lot, and uh, I wanted to give you a break from that too. Um, you may not know this about me, but I, I love orchestral instruments. I have several orchestral libraries, and I'm always open to new things, new new libraries, and I'm, I'm always curious to see what makes them different from other ones. So they asked me to review Emotional Violin. And I thought, well, um, I already have the Vienna, Vienna Symphonic, and I have um, LA Scoring Strings. Like, how good can this be? So I downloaded it, and my first impression, just by looking at it, was that it, it's, it looks a little dated. Um, the the graphics are not that inspiring, um, and the the font and everything, the layout, it just it seems very utilitarian. Um, not it's not very aesthetic. But that being said. Um, it grew on me. It started growing on me, like because of the sounds, and and this is their company hails this as the most expressive violin, and I was like, really, um, I want to I want to try it out. Hi, unique. Thanks for joining me. So I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to show you several sounds. I'm not going to show you the entire library because it, there's a, there's a lot of articulations, and I think that's what they mean by the most expressive. There are many many articulations. So uh, they have three different uh, different groupings or categories. They have their master patches, individuals, and specials. I'm going to go through some of the master ones. Um, so in the emotional violin library in the master patch, we have um, all these different articulations that a violin can make, make. And the difficulty with the violin is that violins are capable of so many sounds uh, compared to like piano or even even guitar it it can produce so many sounds so you have all your articulations here that are key switchable on the left side and they're marked in with the uh, with the red keys so you can switch them and it's all of the keys that are in red are the articulations on this left side and then you have your yellow keys that are the secondary um, articulations which are the ornaments I don't know what M stands for, but I, I assume K and S stands for key switch. But you can, this is a secondary key switch. So if you have your main articulation on, on the left side, um, you can temporarily change the articulation on the right side with these, uh, with these yellow keys. So uh, the blue area is the violin range. So the lowest note on a violin is a G. And I'm going to start playing this for you. So here is spiccato. Spiccato is um, like a sh very short note. So this is G sharp. Now this is uh, midi. Sorry, this is. The dynamics can be controlled with the mod wheel. And you can you have some visual feedback right here too, which you know it's fine. Um I don't really care about visual feedback like that, but it lets you know that that all the way up is loud or forte. And then all the way down is piano or pianissimo. 
Now, this violin um, has a very bright sound to it, but you can you can change that. Uh, but it, my first impression was like, oh, this is kind of this is kind of irritating my ear. Like a real violin irritates my ear unless it's played, you know, um, beautifully, and you get a, you get a nice warm tone to it, which is probably hard to do. But this can always be EQ'd. They have different settings and the effects, so. Um, I was okay with that. So EQ, let's see. What else do they have? You can change the timbre. Let's hear natural tamed. That's nice. You're very welcome for my videos. All right, so let's go through them. Um, here we have G sharp, spiccato. Paganini staccato. This is a different type of short note. So it has a little bit of a tail to it. Now you probably use something like that if you're playing classical music. Then they have pizzicato, which is very common. Nice. Very fast spiccato, as, uh, as if spiccato wasn't fast enough. Sounds pretty cool. Then they have slow and passionate. Now, in the uh, emotional violin library, this is... This is um, monophonic, and you. So you can't play two notes at the same time unless you're playing spiccato. It's going to slide to the next note. And the cool thing about this is that it's velocity sensitive. So if you have, if you're playing very softly, and you you play uh, another note and you connect them, it's going to portamento to that note. Now I'm playing a scale, and then over here in the center, in the bottom, it says finger legato. So it automatically changes, switches from legato and portamento depending on how you play. Now my uh, the velocity of my fingers is not going to affect the um, the volume or the dynamic. That's going to be controlled via the MIDI, the uh, mod wheel. Sorry. What the dynamics controls is whether it's plain legato, portamento, or in the in the case of the faster velocities, it's a bow change, which I think is really cool. So you can play a beautiful violin solo in a song. What I like about this is that, uh, in, compared to other libraries that, uh, where you can hear the transition between piano, uh, mezzo forte, and forte, like you can hear this abrupt jump. Um, in this one you can, it's a very smooth transition. All right, let's go on. This is Passionate Agile or Agile. I don't know how to pronounce that. Some of these are, they sound very similar to other ones um, in, the, in the list. This is called Delicate Vibrato. Hi, Foisal. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. And then we have Delicate Vibrato Fast. 
the cool thing about key switching is that you can uh, you can change the articulation without cutting off the note. All right, straight. I think straight notes are just uh, a note that keeps the same dynamic and expression and tone. Quarters are just uh, quicker notes, quicker bowing. Pick up to detaché. I'm not sure how to play a detaché, but it, it has a little tail to it, and it's kind of like just gently lifting off the, off the string, it sounds like. Double attack. So the double attack... It gives that that double sound um, as soon as you hit it, but if you're connecting it to another note, it, it switches to legato. I appreciate that, and the marcato, which is like a heavy accent. Vivid. Paganini run. Now Paganini, if you don't know, he was a virtuoso violinist I think from the 18th century I might be wrong I'm not remembering my music history right now very cool sustain vibrato cross fade XFD I don't know what that is I need to look that up and yes, I didn't look at the manual for this because I wanted to see if I can just open this library and immediately get it, or at least most of it, the important things, and start making music. Uh, w another thing I look for when I'm when I'm um, sampling or testing out libraries is if it has that emotional factor. How big is this library? Actually, it's not that it's not that big. I think the download size was six gigabytes. But right now, with this articulation, with all these articulations loaded, it's only taking up um, 1.46 gigabytes. So um, that's not that bad. That's not bad. Especially, you know, I forgot to mention that you can um, you can disable any of these articulations. So it's going to cut down on, on the size um, or on the RAM that's being used. Um, also, you can purge samples once you've recorded your song. You can purge samples, and it's gonna it might cut out about ninety to ninety five percent of the samples that are being used. So that's gonna save a lot of RAM as well. Um, let me show you s some of the ornaments. But after after I get go through these, this is non vibrato, sustain. Non vibrato, bright vibrato, gentle motion, dolce, which means sweet. So um, basically, these these different articulations are giving you different types of vibrato and different types of um, attack. Then tremolo. Oops, where is that F sharp? <laughs> Very cool. Then you have your half tone trill. And then your whole tone. Now I'm going to quickly go back to one of the earlier articulations. Let's do um, delicate vibrato. So on the ornaments, on this side we have rebo, which is going to you're going to hear that change in bow direction. There's kind of a stop, and then it and it goes the opposite way. So that is C2, which is right here. And then C sharp two is rebo two. You 
can do it pretty fast. And then let's try to espressivo. To vibrato. So maybe uh, if you didn't have vibrato on this side, you can go to vibrato on this side. And then the, you have a fall on F. Then a rise. Crescendo. Um, this is out of the range of my keyboard, out of the view, but then you have your you have your different articulations there. Now, uh, I'm going to look at the questions. Sweet. I finally get to catch one of these things live. Love it. Thank you, Forbid. I hope you're enjoying it. All right. So the effects section, we have Sordino. Sordino means uh, mute. Uh, violin players or string players put this little device on their strings and it and it basically um, cuts down on uh, on the resonance and it's supposed to give the sound as if it were far away um, it makes it sound thinner let's turn that on and listen to the difference so, so here's here's a regular here's with uh, with the mute Now it makes me wonder if they if they sample these or if this is sort of like a um, a Sordino emulator. Like if because uh, this is pretty small to have all those sounds in there and then and then have a Sordino sound. But anyway, it sounds great to my ear. Now over here we have I I'm not sure what this is. This is a room sound and then we have a reverb. So I guess the room sound is sort of like a reverb but um it's supposed to give you like a less of a tail so i'll show you how it sounds without it so this is without room and without reverb to me that sounds very ugly i don't like the sound of a violin without being in a room so here's the room sound That one does have a tail to it. And then we have reverb, which you can change the different types and they have different halls. That's nice. In expert mode, you can change the attack of the note. And they have poly legato, so I think I can play two notes at the same time, and then it's going to slide. I like that. Legato trimming. I'm not going to get into all of this. You have your different tunings and then your credits. All right, let's listen to the next library. I'm not going to go through all of them. Just uh, I want to hear the difference. All right, so we have the same layout. Our articulations on the left side and then the secondary ones on the right side. Now this one, it has some, some different articula articulations. This is a intimate violin. I'm going to try to play a chord.
Now, I was playing with this for a long time the other day because there, there's something very uh, emotionally moving about this. Not that. <laughs> Let's listen to some other sounds. This is gorgeous. Adagio slow. Now, if I'm guessing right, I think it's probably set under poly legato. Yep. That's what I suspected because I heard legato. Um, now, th this is fine, but it's it can be a little tricky w depending on how you're playing because sometimes you'll hear those uh, uh, those portamentos and um, I'm hearing them and I don't want them sometimes. So you have to be careful with how you how f quickly you play it. Here's some ones that I haven't played. There's Flautando. That one's monophonic. Sol G, that means um, on the G string. Not that G string. I don't know why I said that, that was dumb. All right. So that's a beautiful library and then they have individual sections so this is by like type of uh, type of plane so sustains sustain special um, let's hear this morbid oh that's pretty cool Sul Ponticello, that means um, on the bridge. So you're going to get this really harsh sound. Undulation. It says wait. Yeah, so this is only a few of, uh, of the articulations that are on there. That's a lot. Um, then we have shorts, pizzicatos, tremolos, trills, soft padding. This is great for if you just want to create like a um, chords, hold chords, rather than playing a solo or, or uh, something with a lot of uh, mel like vocal parts, or not vocal parts, sorry, um, a lot of voice leading. A lot of changes in melody. Intimate, plain, short, expressive swell. Let's hear that. So these are very inspiring, especially if you're creating a dramatic scene in a movie or something that where you want to um, make the f person feel pensive or emotional. Um, because, I mean, it's in the name of the plugin. So progressive, vibrato, short, crescendo. I'm not going to go through all of these. They're, I'm sure they're beautiful sound. This one's a cool one to me. Uh, double stop. I haven't heard this one. I mean, I haven't haven't heard it in other libraries, although I'm sure some other libraries have it. So double stop is when you play on two strings at the same time. So 
I like that you um, you can hear that the attack and one string is played first slightly so you can change um, chords like mi major minor uh, oh f uh, five seven and diminished let's let's hear those where are they <laughs> can't find it oh there you go And then you're diminished. All right, finally, let's look at the specials. So you had your Morbid Sustain, which we've kind of heard. We have Ethnic Pizzicato, um, Harmonics, Glissano. Let me hear this. Pretty cool. That's like the um, the effect they use in those horror movies when something bad's about to happen and then nothing happens. All right, undulation weight, violin percussives. Very cool. This one's kind of weird. Uh, you just hear a human breathing. I don't know if you can hear it from your end, but I can hear I can hear the person breathing through their nose. That's kind of funny. And one more and, and then we'll be done with this. India, Arabic. Sounds like it has some microtones in there. Anyway, uh, this library can be found on bestservice.com. It's $1.99. I think it's a, it's a great library. Again, I'm not impressed with the uh, user interface, the look of it, but the sound is definitely inspiring. I love all these articulations. Um, yes, the library could fit very well with some piano music. Mirrors music, for example. I want to see if I didn't read any comments. Oh my, that is some horror movie stuff. Yep. <laughs> um, anyway, if you like this this uh, review, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, tell me what your favorite violin library is. And by the way, uh, for the person who asks, I am going to do a review of the accordions pretty soon. So uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you feel like supporting my channel financially, there is a Venmo and a PayPal link in the description as well as the uh, the link to Best Services website. So friends, thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next time.